What do we got? You know what? Savivi, Savivi. Uh, they are my bane, Savivi is. Uh, it is the bow. And this one's got... It, it comes pre-packaged with LTK thumbprint. Now I'm making it worse. Now I'm making it worse. There we go. Uh, Black Blade, Purple G10, and this is a Brad Zinker design here. Brad Zinker. Small knife, small knife, flipper, liner lock, contoured, G10 scales, by the way. And even though it's a Tenancy knife, well, she's still got number eight hardware in there. Yes, she does. Oh, hold on. It's stable made here. Still got my Franken knife, the banter, and the baby banter here. Ooh, I see they're going to come out with this, you know, I don't know if it's satin blade, but it looks like a much lighter blade. It's not going to be black. And it's going to be offering a green handle or a red handle. Take my word for it. It's coming out after the first of the year, I think 2022 somewhere. So, uh, baby banter, smaller. That's about the only thing that's smaller than the bow. Because this is under three inch blade length, six and a half inches overall length. And yeah, it's definitely under three. And what did they say it is? Um, 2.9 something and then 6.58 overall. Yeah, about 6.6 .6 inches overall. Six and five eighths inches if you want to be precise. And about 17 centimeters. You see 75 millimeters on that dog right there. So it's light. It's light, by the way. And... Take a look at the back. It's an open design. Looks like you got a lanyard pin in here. You got some big old standoffs. So like they'd be on a hinderer or something. That's amazingly big. Uh, deep carry pocket clip, flat screws. Can you flip it? No, because they, yeah, they hate left handed people. It's, they are a cursed breed, apparently. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't know. Because uh, it's a Savivi, you know, you go, eh, why can't we flip it? Uh, 2.13 ounces. Bug out beater, shall we say? Maybe not a beater, but an equal, right? And what are we doing? Where'd my grams go? Oh, 60.3. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, you know, a pretty practical looking blade here. You know what? This is definitely a very sim simple design, is it not? And here's your lockup. And it's, well, it's 25 to 30%. A little hard to see, you know, because everything's blacked out on this thing. But I got mine uh, from, actually from Civivi. But, uh, and another thing. Oh, I wanted to show you as well. You know, pay attention to what's going on with we Savivi right now on Black Friday, and so this will date this video, but I'm very quickly, you know, free gift, free gift. Well, what I was told, and it starts now, um, it's it goes through December 17th, I believe, so click on the link below. It'll take you to the Savivi site where this is going on, and maybe the retailers as well involved in that. Could you get a free hat? Yes, yes, as long as they last. And so I reduced the supply right here by one. Uh, and so I had a Civivi hat. I just thought it was way cool with the, uh, you know, with the leather patch on top. I mean, and guess what? This ain't, yeah, I mean, this is got a nice adjustable clip on there. I'm sure it's made in the, U in the USA. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, so... Is there a pouch in here? Yes, there's a pouch in here. What do you get? There's not a hat in here. Okay, they couldn't fit one in. And there's a sticker. Oh, yeah, and you get your, your Elementum sticker, too. Yikes. Get them while you can, folks. Get them while you can. And then, of course, uh, you know, Civivi microfiber cloth. What the hell? I mean, you know. 
and you get a zipper pouch with it, right? And it's a measly 65 bucks before discount and look for the Black Friday sales there. Uh, I know for sure, you know, if you get one on my buddy Justin's site, White Mountain, LTK, I don't have a discount code for some EV we, you know, on their site, but they're running, you know, a 25% off, whatever. So, and, but that's probably MSRP. This is minimum advertised price, so that's a different, but 65 minus six dollars and fifty cents so you'll be in the 50s you know so if you want to do that and then here's your stats for pause and read and also you know it's a nitro v blade uh here's the rest of your this is brad zinker obviously 2.1 and i don't know if i have pictures yeah there's some other models see you can get all kinds of crazy stuff right red black or blue black carbon fiber uh you know, insanity, insanity. So um, check that out. If you like the smaller, you know, easy carry knives like this, then this may be for you. It's it's still big enough. I can get four fingers on it, okay? Got a little choil area here, a cutaway area there at the end of the blade. So sharpening, stropping shouldn't be a problem. I was picking stuff off this blade a little earlier because I've, I've used it, um, you know, and that's horrible. Who decided that knives were supposed to be used? Okay, it's still sharp, but yeah, I've been opening packages and stuff with it. So, packages of other knives, no less. Go figure on that one. It's easy in and out of the pocket. The pocket clip design's pretty good. Check this out, though. This is interesting. Look at back here. And we will disassemble this, by the way. But look at back here. See, there's a screw underneath that pocket clip, right? Because it goes through that standoff. Yeah, correct, correct. But I was bitching about that saying, just kick this back another notch and use that screw right there that goes through the standoff. Use that for the deep carry. It'll make it deeper carry. And then you could eliminate that screw. Boom, 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 boom. Here's the cogent, right? And check that out. Hell yeah. So, these, uh, you know, they backed it up. It's a little deeper carry, isn't it? It is, isn't it? This goes right off the end here. This one, no. Okay. So, uh, I thought that was interesting. Oh, by the way, you know, check it out because the cogent, same thing as the, as the Civivi relic except they fancied the handle up but otherwise look at the blades on the relic and the cogent i'm going to do a separate video on this though but it and it's not a liner lock okay like the relic is this is a button lock sweet i mean this is yeah oof, baby i i'll tell you about this later but oh maybe that's a good one. That's a good one. So, oh, and then, of course, this has come out since as well, which is the crit, which is like a utility tool plus. And it, uh, you know, not everybody could qualify to get it in purple, like uh, royal purple color, except for me because, yeah, I dyed the scales. It was a natural G10. So, uh, Nitro V. 9CR18 on the tool. Okay. Okay. Are we done? Okay. Back to the bow. Bow. At least it's a name I can pronounce. Man, that's that's helpful. And, oh, by the way, check this out. Like How thin in the pocket. Because this is a small knife. This is supposed to be something discreet carry. 0.43. That's nice and thin. 11 millimeters. Okay. Kick it up on the, on the blade stock, and what do we got? Mm, about 2.3.09. So, yeah, fairly slender blade stock, but it's appropriate for this knife. It's a small, you know, light carry, discreet carry, and kind of a budget gent carry. Um, and, you know, there's just a lot of times when this will go undetected, and it's still, you got plenty. You got three inches of cutting here. Uh, you know, 
you can get the job done. It'd be a nice backup for me when I carry my monster knives, you know. So, um, open design should be easy to clean and, and all that. And, of course, ceramic bearings. Check it out. Yeah, uh, it's nice. And, you know, it comes in other iterations, which ought to be interesting, too. If you're into the small gent carry stuff, then, you know, there's a lot of options there. And... Or for legal reasons, you can't have anything over three inch blade or something. Then, as opposed to moving to a real state with liberty, yeah, and justice for all, yeah, you can just stay in that uh, in that repressive regime and put up with just having smaller knives. Uh, and there, there you go. <laughs> Nothing like insulting the audience, right? Ah, uh, where's my balance point? Come on, come on. Right there. Okay. Yeah. Uh, reverse grip. God only knows why. But yeah, it's comfortable actually. So fit and finish. Is it good on some EV knives? Yes. Yes, it is. That's the answer. It, it's really good. They make a great knife. Even the Sen cut knives that they do. Let me reach. Like the episode. Um, those are good. I, I, they're They're good. They're good. Okay, so check this out online too. Only on Amazon. That's to keep the price down. But this baby's like 42 smacks. And then, you know what? The Send Cut Snap. Check it out as well. Only 42 smackers as well. But they don't go through retailers because they don't want to, you know, have to add price and add price. To, they're trying to keep it low. So... This one, yeah, but this one's not terribly expensive at 65 and then it'll be in the upper 50s by the time, and Nitro V Blade, if that means anything to you. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I've heard good and bad. I mean, I remember the TJ Schwartz designed Perpetua. I remember when Mastrop did that. I still got one. I I'll, I'll love it, but I mean, is the Nitro V, is it great um I, that's a discussion that knife that steel nerds had and i don't know that they were all that impressed with the idea of nitro v but okay yeah you could sharpen it you can use it so there it is uh it's uh, to me no not a super steel or any of that but okay so let's disassemble the uh the bow oh my god it's bigger Wow, that's weird. Hold on. Hold on. Brazen, get out of here. Another day for the brazen, by the way. And talk about inexpensive. That That is uh, pretty inexpensive. Uh, absolutely. That's in send cut range. Now, let's get after you, buddy. Let's see what we're going to do. In fact, maybe we're going to close this up just for now. Let's get the brain turned on. And success there. Let's see what else we got to do. And the problem is got to take the pocket clip off because this is the olden day fashion of putting a knife together. And what do I mean by that? It means that I got to take the pocket clip off to get to that screw that's positioned under the pocket clip. It doesn't need to be positioned under the pocket clip. Um, in fact, that's a that's. Hold on. Did they back this one up? See, they backed this one up too on the episode, which is the send cut, but it's Savivi. You know what I'm saying? So instead of three screws here, see what I'm saying? Three screws, and what the hell? Well, that's to go through that standoff, but. You know, three screws here. Um, don't need it, you know. So, okay. wonder if they did that on the brazen. Yeah, see, they backed it up. And now it's even deeper carry than the bow. So the bow may be a little uh, pre-modification pre here. Okay, so now we got number eight here. Sorry, I'm just kind of hyper-focusing on that, but... 
but I think it's it's good. Then you don't have three freaking holes, man. I'm just saying. Now, of course, then there's no, you know, left-handed carry either, as we stated earlier. Okay. Let's get these dogs out. Here, let's get the pocket clip out of the way. Body screw, pivot, body screw. Uh, lock bar side. Uh, do we have anything here? Uh, any screws holding the liner? No, we don't. And that should come off. And here it is. And it's not skeletonized, but we have a ceramic detent ball. And there's our little lanyard pin area going across here. And you can see where it fits on the other side. But then you got these standoffs that, you know, like look like wire cable spools or something there. And then, uh, but the... Uh, the, cer the ceramic uh, bearings, they're rather demure, are they not? Yes, they are. And pretty clean, though, inside. You know, it's nice. It's, it's all right. She'll work. Internal blade stop here so it runs on a track like this baby does right here. And this one here. And, of course, this side, check that out. How, uh, ooh, we got a whole lot of skeletonizing going on there but you know no sharp edges no you know no raw edges and garbage and stuff and then of course you know you got a little milled hump right here and underneath the the cap it's got another little milled hump over here that you know space that sits down on top and then it locates the the logo like on the sand cat you don't have a logo to locate so you don't have to worry about that plus you got a number eight entry on both sides so you can hold it steady to break it loose if you need to so we're good we're good i mean let's put it back together for no damn reason at all and i don't know uh but if i need to even put any juice if so one drop ought to be like more than adequate throw this throw this and that's it and then uh, put this liner on and liner it up and uh, okay yeah I already had the the pin in the tail here so okay yeah so really you know apart and back together pronto quicko and come on, come on. So what are we doing? And lock it down a little bit. So what's going on out there, you guys? Uh, are you eating poultry of some sort, like a related species, uh, like turkey? Could it be? Other strange and unusual holiday fare uh you got those sweatpants because they have a drawstring and you can let them out i like mine that's for sure yikes okay no excuses right and the little flat top screws that are number six we're gonna run that baby through here and uh And kick this down a little bit let's get the other one positioned and uh, we'll be done with you buddy the bow so BB bow I like the name that's good I can't believe nobody's taken that name before bow whenever anyone had done house dog car uh, and said some uh, ancient Abyssinian word for shooting star or something that's unpronounceable um here you go what do you think the bow it's apart it's back together uh is it i crunch it too hard uh it's centered i don't know that i was ever getting just a crazy guillotine drop on this but i'll back it off a little bit and see yeah, not bad. I mean, you know, okay, it works. 
I don't think it's as drop shutty as the banter or baby banter. Let's see that. Look at that, banging right on my thumbnail. It's smaller, but yet that drop is incredible on this one. Got to get the baby, get babied. And then you can get the bow. That, those are, you know, both small knives. That if you like that kind of thing, then you can carry them. I mean, you know, very, very discreet and easy to carry. That's for sure. So where'd my box go? Oh, I just left it open like this. Yeah, right here. The bow. 2000, god dang, 9B-5, okay, and it's the bow. So what do you guys think uh, about the Civivi bow? I, I mean, the design's great, uh, I think, you know, and you got a gimped uh, flipper tab, and it's muted enough and everything, and the detent is where it needs to be, by the way, and I never commented about that, but uh, they get it dialed in. You know, that's uh, almost a no-fail flip. Yeah, it, it's good. It's nice and stiff, and since there's no other way to really open it, you know, that's kind of where you need to be regardless. So, you know, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, if this thing was, you know, 8. 6 to 8.8 .8 or 9 inches overall length, uh, I'd just... I would love it because this is this is just a great design. So who knows what they're going to do going forward? Make it in titanium or make it bigger or put a button lock on it or God only knows. So, I mean, there's all kinds of things you can do with a design like this. I mean, I don't know that I'd just leave it alone at this myself. It's just too good. It needs to be stirred up a little bit and uh, reconstituted. Take care. Yes, we do. We love them knives, so you guys stay sharp.